so that now we can come alongside those families in distressed areas. They first will, and as Capstone gets in position for it next year, we're going to see some things happen similarly. But it was as if God put a stamp of approval on the collaboration. So parents, when you come, you don't look to Capstone. You don't look to Faith First. Who are we looking to? We're the little engine that could, because we believe that God has called us, and therefore, he would do it, and he has. And he has done it through wonderful, generous donors. And now, God is collaborating. Before the foundation of the world, he has done that. And now, in time, he's bringing us together yes. in a new initiative. I want to tell the listeners what God can do in a life if that person would just allow him. But this news that we have about what God is doing concerning putting children under the gospel, like Barbara was just talking about, uh, the little children, it will revolutionize the United States of America and the world. We're not talking just about Pennsylvania, Virginia, California. I'm talking about the world. And this is the seedbed where we're beginning. I don't know if you all realize this, but this is the first Christian community foundation in a top tier city in the United States. serve Christians, by Christians, for Christians, so that they will always find a safe place, a place that affirms them, and a place that wants to serve them. We call ourselves servant leaders because we serve first and lead when necessary. Well, I thank God for Capstone and the Faith First. And so many times parents come and say, I just can't afford it. And I said, have you been down to the scholarship meetings and applied? No, I haven't. Well, then you know what? There's a, you, you, you have to do something. I heard today that today we're making history, but history is going to happen in one of two ways. You can either get involved in history and make it happen, or you can sit back and be apathetic and negligent and let history just fall to your children in a way that's going to destroy them. And you need to be involved because God has given you the ultimate task of educating your child. It is your responsibility. We come alongside in the school, but it is a parent's responsibility to teach the child and to bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. So please take advantage and please pray and please help get donors. And when we look for Dr. Wilson, Capstone, and other organizations say, look here, we see the same way you see. We want those kids built up. We want to convict them by God because these are our future leaders. And what happens is they get to stand in the gap. And when we teach these kids, we tell the kids, what do you want to do when you grow up? And the kids say, I want to be a, 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 a lawyer. I say, you got to be the judge. I want to be a nurse. you got to be the doctor. Right. Because what happens is you don't want to be getting, you can hire people and train them in a way that, we're, that you're being trained right now. I want to give everybody my cell number. Are you ready? Yes. Two, one, five. Eight, seven, zero. Nine, four, five, four. And you can call me anytime. We're so pleased that she's really linked up with us at Capstone and with Sam 
Uh, so uh, if you're interested in learning more about the Capstone Legacy Scholarship Fund, uh, you can contact us at our website. Sam has it on under businesses and find out about that at www.capstonelegacy.org or call 610-688-8890. Talk to Sam Harrell, Director of Programs. If you'd like to look and support Capstone or look into a donor advised fund, you can contact me or Sam. May God bless your living legacy.